Current matters, the policy and programs of federal government in the agricultural sector have successfully pushed up food production, thereby averting food crisis during the year that was hit by the coronavirus crisis. Mustababa Ali Urex raised the performance of the sector in the last 365 days. The 24 hours of every single day are important and crucial to farmers, livestock breeders, as well as researchers. And this is why the rainy and dry seasons remain of significance to farmers. The year 2020 was like any other year to farmers, characterized by planting, harvesting, storage, marketing and processing. Agricultural activities were however disrupted with the outbreak of COVID-19, flood and drought between March and September. This led to drop in the production of some major crops as observed by the Agricultural Research Institute of Ahmad Bello University's area. And the projection shows that actually if interventions are not done now, we shall have many people falling into food insecurity and malnutrition. And within the year, new policies and programs were introduced by the federal government. About 50,000 agricultural extension agents were trained to support rural farmers nationwide. Roadmap for the establishment of $500 million crop processing zones were drafted at the beginning of the year. The federal government also approved a loan facility of $1.2 billion to finance mechanization of agriculture in the country. The loan will be used to acquire heavy duty equipment and implements to be distributed to all local government areas in the country. It meant for government to borrow, to on land, to uh, tractor assembly plants, to on land to businesses that will set up processing centers at uh, senatorial level as well as at local government level. Agriculture for Food and Job is another project launched by the federal government during the year. The project is designed to mitigate the negative impact of COVID-19 on the economy and livelihood of farmers by creating more access to food and for the rapid emergence of competitive food production, processing and distribution in Nigeria. Take the issue of food security and the health of the population seriously. These seeds are being given to the beneficiaries free of charge, while other input given at 75% subsidy. The Central Bank of Nigeria provided about 432 billion naira to fund the value chains of nine commodities in the 2020 wet season. 11 varieties of high yielding seeds were released by the Nigerian scientists and certified by the National Varieties Release Committee in the year under review. In Abuja, Musa Baba Aliyu, NTA News.